Hi, Faris. Hi, Cluster Rich. Hi, Bernice. The chat has proof. <laughs> okay. All right. We we'll wait for people to come in. Yes, Maris, everyone is still sleeping. Oh, why are you here, Faris? Your class is at 11, Faris. But you can learn, but you don't have the textbook, Faris. You're too early. Hi, Putri. Morning. <laughs> All right, Cluster H. Welcome. We're still waiting. Still early. Who's the first person actually? Who's Cluster H? What's your name? The form four class. Uh, Okay, Faris, see you. Hi, hi, teacher. Welcome. Can't say your name. Why? Hi, Nushin. It's a secret. Okay, cluster. Hi, drums. Let's wait for a few more minutes and then I will start the class. Right, so how was all of your weekend? I hope it was fine. Hi, Li Hong. I had a good rest during the weekend, even though I, I did some work, but it was a good rest. No, it wasn't good, Bernice. Sorry to hear that. You want to go out? Well, it's dangerous to go out, Bernice. Not, not this time. It's better to stay home. Just walk outside of your home, I mean, in front of your house, just get some fresh air. Everyone is still sleeping, must have had a good night. No, I'm not talking about go out of your house. I'm talking, I mean, out, way out of your house, just in front of your porch, you know, just in front of the road, just right in front of your gate. Why, Li Hong, why are you so tired? All right. <clears throat> I think it's time. Hi, Satish. I think it's time for me to start my class. Today, we are going to slap late. All right, Li Hong, it's okay. All right, usually my English classes, you will have the answer soon. Oh, the police was next door yesterday. You should have said hi. And um, we would start, all right, everyone? So... Uh, let me get things done here. OK, 
Okay, so today um, our lesson is from three. Um, we are going to do reading today. Okay, all right. The objective of today's lesson is for reading. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to understand the main points in the text, animals in the human world. Okay, by stating the reason the writer gave for the growing number of pets. So you need to give the reason um, the writer give for the growing number of pets. You, you need to identify which one um, in the text give you that answer. And then for speaking, you'll be able to explain your own point of view in discussing about animals in activity B. Right? So um, the success criteria for reading is you are going to state the strategy to read for main ideas. So you're going to tell me later what is the strategy to read main for main ideas. You're going to also tell me the difference between reading for main ideas and reading for specific details or information. You're going to tell me where the main idea in the reading text is uh, by stating what paragraph or paragraphs and what are the sentences that uh, give you the answer. And then for speaking, you provide an opinion and then you provide a justification by giving either an example or uh, an, a reason or an anecdote. I think I've said this a few times on um, how to give justification, especially if you want to expand your answer, right? So that is what we're going to learn today. So first of all, all right, let's discuss special relationships that you have in your life, all right? There are so many kinds of special relationships that we have in our life. So would you like to start off by telling me what kind of special relationships that you have in your life? Anyone? I'm going to start off with, this is, right, parent-child. I have children, so my special relationship is with my children, so parent-child. Yes, cluster, right, but it should be more specific. Right, family is so big, it can be parents, child, well, who else? Friends with whom? Okay, you and your friends. Anymore? If you're talking about family, family itself, there's a lot. Uh, so it will be teacher, student, okay. Samo, you have, yes, brother, sisters, right? That is that relationship we want, brother and sister. Sorry, you can have as both brothers, sisters. Yeah, I know, boyfriend, girlfriend, yes, right? Anymore? Not yet, uh, Dia, relax, Dia, I'm not going to the face. Let's just, let us just discuss, all right? Okay. Yes, I went family, but be more specific. You have many in family. All right, you have um, also for family, husband and wife. This is a relationship. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, uncle and niece, correct? Yes, cousins, all right? Cousin and cousin. Mm -hmm. Cousin and uncle, right? Ma uh, yeah, your mother with your father, so it can be mother, father, relationship. Yes, right, Nushin, good. Grandparents, parents, exactly, very good. Grandparents, granddaughter, yes, you're getting it. Now you're getting it, right. That in your life, this is the special relationship you have. Do you know that you can also have a relationship with your pets, pet and owner? All right, that's a special relationship that most of you have forgotten, especially during this time if you have cats at home, right? Or some of those who are non-Muslim, if you have dogs, these are special. Why do you want to get scared, Nushin? This is a safe space. No answer is a wrong answer. Okay. And um, 
this relationship criminal and victim is also a relationship right so you have uh, if you're a victim you have a special relationship with the criminal okay or the criminal have a special relationship with the victim okay so there are so many relationships that we have in our lives right Grand, grand uh, okay all right benjamin always wants to be different yes li hong i i get what you mean okay let's continue now you look at the picture i think it's only one picture i uh and the captions on page 43 of your textbook now my textbook has a different picture okay so I don't I cannot remember I don't have my 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 physical textbook with me. So can you tell me what what picture is there on your textbook on page 43? Page 43 is a full page. Oh it's a cat. Okay. Right. Thanks Li Hong. So look at the pictures on page 43. Okay. And is there a caption there? Oh cat and a turtle. Is there a caption to talk about the the picture? A cat turtle. Okay, right. It's a cat and a tortoise. So I don't know. Is it a turtle or a tortoise? You need to be sure. Is there a caption at the bottom of the page or somewhere in that picture? Okay, it's a tortoise. Right. So what? It's an unusual animal friendship. Two different species. Okay. So what is your reaction to it? What is your reaction to that picture? To see a cat and a tortoise together, what's your reaction towards it? You find it cute. Bernice, wow, just wow. Amaze, surprise. Mm -hmm. It's unique, all right? Amazing, all right, Li Hong, loving. Hurayas, mm -hmm. any more? Shock. Why are you shocked, Benjamin? Friendly, I, I would love to know why you are shocked. Even Shania, Shania says she's shocked. Why? Something so rare to see, okay? Is something rare for you to see a tortoise and a cat together? Mm-hmm. Right? Any more? Interesting. Okay. Right. What I want you to do now is I need all of you, if you have your textbook, those without textbook is fine. Those um, with textbook, please close your textbook. Don't look at the textbook, the textbook, textbook, textbook anymore. Close it. All right. Okay. Because if you have the textbook open, then there's no purpose of doing this activity right now. What I need you to do is, okay, I need you to list down, okay, the jobs that you feel animals will do. All right, jobs that animals you think do. Okay, just say for example, you choose an animal, say the name of the animal, the cat. What kind of jobs you usually see cat do? All right, if it's a bird, what kind of jobs you have seen birds doing? Okay, monkeys or chimpanzees, the kind of jobs that they do. All right, uh, Benjamin, uh, okay, um, Lee Hong, you say it's a, a, the dog, watchdog. Um, over, um, Benjamin, lead the blind, dogs, dogs, a police dogs, tracker dogs. Uh, Lee Hong, drug sniffer, okay, cat will catch a mice. It's a job, is it, Ivan? All right, you have a special cat that you can use it to go to anybody's house and it's Prime job is to catch all the rats. Okay, cat can catch mouse, right? 
dog service dogs mm -hmm. any more good morning kugila cat a service cat mm. hold on right okay service cat right uh, sometimes the recording will pause is because i'm trying to make it the least um lagging i'm trying to make it not lag too much like the other day so now it's much better so but we have other problems okay um dogs can be a talking friend okay satish i know what you mean when i was younger i used to come back from school and talk to my dog an animal eat coffee beans and poop out on your really benjamin what animal is that oh you don't remember really any people eat that oh god all right the leg is real <laughs> um hi sharinia welcome sharinia thank you for coming all right yes any more okay you have named the animals the kind of jobs that you think the animals would do they drink the coffee from their poo from indonesia okay all right it looks like you're all um more well versed in all this than i am all right so now you can open your book uh which is at page 44 okay page 44 of your textbook Hi Nuru why is it lagging when you are live streaming it will be lagging always right uh, that is something you all will learn okay when you are doing a uh, live if you are streaming you will um you will be lagging right so you have done list the jobs uh, animals can do you have given your your opinion now you look at the dogs in There are three pictures. I'm sorry, I cannot copy and paste the pictures for those who don't have the pictures because it, these things from textbooks are all copyrighted and I cannot share on YouTube. So you need to look at the dogs in the photos one, two, and three. For those with textbook, maybe you would like to say that for what is a what is photo one? Okay. Ah, uh, right. Photo two, photo three. You look at that. and um you list down what what you can see in that picture there are three pictures right on top of the textbook it's right on top of the textbook got dog me no i no dog ah okay what picture then i'm sorry what picture is it then that you have that uh benjamin no dogs okay what picture was that photo one is a monkey eating a fruit okay all right okay aha uh -huh. raya is an elephant okay all right and you go oh there are three animals monkey buffalo elephant all right i would like to apologize because the one that i have is the original book the one you have is a malaysian one all right so there's some changes that has been made i'm sorry so i don't have like i said my physical book all right so you you have a cow or a yak okay which i think looks like a buffalo so now you look at the, what what can you see they were doing what are these animals doing monkey holding something buffalo pulling a cart for farming and elephant doing something right li hong i'm wondering what is that something for picture 1 and picture 3 buffalo claw the pedifil is it claw or the word is Plow. Elephant is just standing there. Oh, is it? Oh, all right. Elephant is carrying something. You think? All right. I think it's a coconut. I have no idea what that thing is. All right. Okay. It's okay, Li Hong. No problem. What do you think they were doing? What? What? What are these three animals doing actually? 
All right. What? What? Monkey is just holding something. Okay. All right. He's just holding something. He's carrying objects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Carrying out their daily life. All right. So that's what these animals do in real life, in their daily life. That is a coconut. All right. It's a coconut. Okay. All right. So compare your answer, you know, the one that you talk about all the kinds of jobs that animals do, right? So compare to that list, did, were you close with any of the things that the three pictures show? Okay, elephants transportation, yes, right? <clears throat> so which one of the three pictures? All right, good. Elephant's transportation, what else? Got some drawings on the elephant's trunk. Oh, okay. Right, Putri. Which one of the three pictures you think they are working? Okay, picture number two is who, what? Picture, um, is it a monkey? Picture two and three. The monkey, the coconut picker. Right, yes. Buffalo in the paddy field. Right, you don't think the elephant was working? All right. Okay, buffalo, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Yes, yeah, so I think I think all three are working too. Okay. Maybe except one. All right, you don't think the elephant was working? Okay. It's fine. Why? Nushin, just give me a reason why you think the elephant was not working. There a reason for it? Because the monkey might just be eating. Oh, all right. Oh, Nushin, you are talking about the monkey it might just be plucking the coconut to eat. All right. Uh, but do, do monkeys eat coconut? That's something for us to think of. Monkeys eat coconut? Maybe, right? I'm not sure. Buffalo is... Tilting the paddy field. All right, cluster, accept that. Good. Not saying the elephant. Okay, all right, Nushin, I got that. All right, they drink the juice. Okay, Nushin, thank you. Excellent. All right, so I love that you are able to, you know, um, provide justification for all the answers that you have given. This is fabulous, and that's great job that you have done. Okay, right. Now, you already discussed the three pictures. We are going into activity B. Now, activity B, right, you have to uh, look at the sort of work. What sort of work can dogs do? Um, your text is on the dog, right? Work in, you're not going to work in pairs. You're going to list as many jobs as you can think of in your notebook. I think all of you have listed just now when I ask you what kind of jobs animals do, that it is, uh, most of you have given what dogs uh, usually do, right? Um, so you have done that just now, uh, the earlier, I hope you remember the very early uh, activity. Um, the topic of your text is dogs in the human world. Am I right? Dogs in the human world? Is that the topic that you all have? Because I, I'm sure that's the topic, a uh, reading text. It's just animals. Animals. The title is just animals? Animals in a human world. Okay. All right, okay. All right, animal in the human world. Then uh, they have just changed the, the topic. So animal in the human world. Okay, you will see my text. If my text is a little bit different, don't get the shock, right? All right, animals in a human world. I, I, get, I get what you mean. Okay, so... We are just going to dive straight into the activity. 
So what you need to do is, right, um, you know, you already listed the, the, the jobs, all right? So read the instruction in activity B and refer to the list. We are not going to do that. All right. Um, I, if you look at the text, you can see that actually it's basically talking about the different jobs animals can do, right? So, um, read the article about the relationship between humans and dogs. What reason does the writer give for the growing number of domestic dogs? Is the instruction the same? Ha <laughs> uh, Cluster is, is, is not a new close-up book, Cluster. It's just one, uh, you must understand that uh, this, is a, this is written specially for Malaysian, okay? So, uh, we do change a little bit here and there to cater to your needs, okay? Right? So, it's not a problem. Not the same. So, what is the activity C for? Uh, they didn't ask you the relationship between humans. What's the reason the writer give for the growing number of what? Not the same. Okay, what's the instruction then on page? Activity C. Just tell me what's the instruction for activity C. What did they ask you to do? Relationship between human and animals. It's fine. Just change uh, the, the dog to, to, to human and animals. All right. Okay. Between, okay, read the article about the relationship between humans and animals. And then what reason does the writer give for the growing number of pets? Is it? All right. Okay. So just change all those that are dogs to pets and animals. Right. Okay, thank you, um, Benjamin. Read the article about the relationship between humans and what reason give for the growing number of pets. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you very much. Um, then you have you when you read the instruction, what information from the text you already know? Just looking at the instruction, what information from the text that you know already? Cluster, go to Malaysia and buy a new close-up. <laughs> funny boy. Funny, funny boy. Right, so? No, from the question. From the question, okay. So, you need to tell me, all right, from this question, okay, what information you already know based on the instruction. Based on that instruction. It's okay, it's okay, Benjamin, doesn't matter. Yes, correct. The increasing number of facts. This one, from this one, you already know you're talking about, okay, that there is a growing number of pets. The number of pets or the number of uh, animals that people keep is increasing, okay? Right? That information is already in the instruction. So, that is something you already know. When you are reading, you will know that this is happening. Clear? So, sometimes the question has already given you some clue. No, Li Hong, I'm asking the question, what information from the text, meaning from this instruction that you know, okay? This text. I'm talking about this text here, not from the story that you are, from the long text you're reading. I've not asked you to read it, to read it yet, okay? 
Now you look at the pictures and now you look at the pictures and the text. Okay? Now you do that and the paragraphing and I want you to tell me what other information you think you will read. So you will look at the pictures, you will look at the text and then you will look at the paragraph heading. So now you're going to tell me whether the text that I have Okay, I know it's written dogs change to animals in the human world. All right, all the dogs change to animals. Is the text, the wordings the same just by changing the word dogs? No. So what's the first paragraph? The friendship between humans and animals didn't have that. Okay. All right. Now it's a totally different text. You don't have this? Or oh, this you have? Or oh, that one? Yes. What about the next one? Okay, all right. This one? Mm. This one? Okay, all right, all right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as you can give me the answer. Okay, all right. Okay, except the first paragraph, right? Okay, this one. This one is all different. This whole thing is different. Okay, right, okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter that it's different. The strategy is the same, okay? So what you need to do is look at the pictures. If you have your book, look at the pictures, look at the subtopics and tell me and write in the, in the comment box there, okay? What other things would you read? Okay, don't read the whole text. I want you to skim. Skimming means just looking at subtopics, look at pictures. That's it. All right, okay, it's okay, Putri, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it's a different thing, okay? I'm not, uh, now it's a good time for you to learn that the content doesn't matter anymore. What's important is you practice the strategy, okay? The strategy of skimming and scanning. Now we are learning how to skim, okay? It doesn't matter that the text is different, right? Okay, so, yeah, right, tell me what else would you read? Everyone stop talking about there's a different thing that you are seeing based on your textbook. You look at your textbook, those without textbook look at the one on the screen, okay? So you tell me what you think you are going to read. Nobody's telling me how are you all how are you all skimming? How do you skim? Okay, how to skim? Okay, Nushin, how pets help humans to carry out their daily life, right? So you are you feel that by looking at all the subtopics and topics, right? 
that you are going to see about how these um, people, or how these people, how these animals are helping out in um, their daily life. All right. What is skim? Right. What is skim? Hmm. Not skim milk. Maybe how to help humans track down bad people. All right. Let's um, help Ivan Mikhail. What is skim? Skimming. Skimming Mikhail is to quickly glance through something. All right. Or to glance something quickly in order for you to get uh, the main idea of what the whole text is about. All right. Okay. Uh, Li Hong is saying it means you just quickly read. You are not looking into details. That is skimming. So how do you skim? Basically, when you skim, you look at the topic. You look if there are pictures, you look at the pictures. And then you look if there are subheadings, you look at the subheadings. All right. Uh, hi, Naufal. And um, the thing is, when you do that, you get an idea what the text is about without bothering about the small details. That is what skimming is. All right. So when you want, when you see the text the first time, that's what you do. You get an idea of what is it about. All right. Hi, Kirtana. Okay. Let's differentiate with scanning. There's another one, scanning, which we are going to do tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, you are going to do scanning. Okay. So now you tell me what's the difference between reading for main idea. Reading for main idea is skimming. Reading for specific details or specific information is scanning. So what is the difference between skimming and scanning? Anyone? It's Yes, Benjamin, you are right. But how? How? Uh, what? What's the strategy? The difference in the strategy. Okay. All right. Okay. So just now I explained. I'm going to repeat myself. Scheming is you look at the text, you look at the topic, you look at pictures, you look at subtopics. If there are no subtopics, you look at the first sentence and the last sentence of each paragraph just to get an idea. Do not read in detail. That is scheme. You scheme. This is how you scheme. All right? All right? Scanning is... Okay? You will look at important keywords that are in that text. You will scan. You'll be scanning. Just say, for example, can you tell me the meaning of something? Why do you think um, the cat um, helped that man? Then you will be scanning by looking at individual words that have the word cat, helping, and then you will be uh, able to find the answer. Okay? All right? All right. Yes, Ivan, you got that. All right, scheming, you read through everything like past and simple without your intention scanning means that you scan the title. All right, is that clear, everyone? Scheming and scanning. Okay, let's continue. Today we are only doing scheming, huh? Today we are not doing scanning. We are going to do scanning on Wednesday class. Right. Let's continue. Okay, so now 
you skim the text. You see, you skim. I'm not asking you to scan. I'm asking you to skim the text to answer the question on activity C. Activity C asks you, all right, what reason does the writer give for the growing number of pets? Okay, so you need to find the answer, okay, for question activity C. I already to ask you, do you know how to skim? We already discussed that. So what is the answer? And I want you to tell me how to, how you got the answer. Okay, how did you get the answer? What paragraph, what sentence told you the answer? Okay, Li Hong, where you got the benefits of having pets incorporated in human life? Which, which paragraph? What line? Or is that your own sentence? Okay, I need to show this. Sorry, I need to show this to those who don't have. The answer is in the, this text. Is still, even though the text is different, the answer is there. Okay, all right. I want you to scan. I'm just going to let you read the first paragraph there and the last paragraph. Okay, just, okay, so you know this is a food sniffer dogs, dogs, and then they give you, look at the first paragraph, mm, the last paragraph is here, okay, and then got treated like a queen, talking about Tiffy, mm -hmm. and then animal carers, about Jessie, Right, they can learn to open closed doors, turn lights on, off, whatever, and then doggy detectives, <clears throat> sour dogs. Okay, and then this is the last paragraph as workers here. Okay, right. Okay, let's come back to this. Stop arguing in the chat. Um, <clears throat> what do you think the answer is? All right, Nushin. <laughs> you are fine, Nushin. Don't get confused. So anyone got the answer? On why, all right, on what the reason the writer give for the growing number of pets. Okay, what's the answer? If you can give me. What's TGE, Bernice? Anyone? What is the answer for your activity C topic? The question is in the instruction. I said go figure and I forgot to put your name. Uh, Benjamin, because they are very helpful and everyone's a man's best friend. Where did you get the answer, Benjamin? Let me know. Where did you get the answer, Benjamin? Okay, the last paragraph. Okay, Benjamin, the last paragraph, what's the sentence that, uh, it, is it that same sentence because they are very helpful and everyone's a man's best friend? Is that the sentence, the same sentence? Okay, 
All right. The number of pets continues to increase because of the ilmarin. Okay, ilmarin. That is also from the text, right? Below the title, Li Hong. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, the question say what reason does the writer give for the growing number of pets? Because I don't have exactly your paragraph one. Your paragraph one would give you the idea that the text will be about why people are having growing numbers of pets in paragraph one, right? And then the last paragraph actually. Um, Strengthen that argument. The writer says that um, um, that the number of pets are increasing. If you look at this, I think they have that here. Uh, animals continues okay, but the number of pets and 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 human continue to incre increase because of their special relationship with humans. Are you? This sentence is the still the same, right? For your uh, text. In your textbook, right? Mind blown. Why? Why is cluster? Why is now file always mind blown? Right? So, Ila Marin, you got the right answer. Do you know where you get the answer? The answer is in the last paragraph. Okay? It's in the last paragraph. Where did you get the answer? Is in the last paragraph. The number of not domestic dogs, I know. Uh, number of animals, between, uh, number of pets or working animals is increasing due to their special relationship with humans. Okay, so this one, oh God, we have gone. This one, we have the, um, where am I now? I'm lost totally. Hold on, all right? Okay, so you basically, when you scheme, you just look for these um, answers. The answers will always be somewhere either in the beginning or the end of the sentence. Okay. Benjamin, whenever you travel, you can see animals being walked, herded. All right, that would be the first uh, paragraph, right, Benjamin? Okay, right. Animals are certainly mentioned. All right, okay. Okay, so Benjamin, that paragraph, that one in the first paragraph tells you that, you know, it doesn't matter about culture. It doesn't matter about uh, where we are from. Okay, we all have these animals Okay, who work, right? Okay. All right, Li Hong. All right, thank you. Thank you, Li Hong. That's the paragraph below the title. Okay, that one doesn't tell you exactly why the number of uh, animals um, that human keeps are increasing. The last one, okay, it does. It explains. Okay, let me go back to the question. Okay, here, what reason to the gift uh, gift for the growing numbers of pets? So the answer is this one. Because of the special relationship, it either can be your pet, it can be because it has um, special, is doing special work for you. All right? Okay? Okay, Benjamin. Benjamin, you're going into... Um, justifying your answer, which is very good for speaking, right? It's, it's okay, Naufa, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not doing this for likes. I'm doing this to help learners. You like or don't like my, um, my video has never been my concern, but thank you for the thumbs up if you have given. All right. Uh, any questions that you want to ask before I go to one final um, thing that we have to do? Because today's lesson is not that uh, tough, actually. It's quite simple. 
my main purpose is to teach you how to skim. I'm going to repeat to you, skimming is just looking at pictures, looking at uh, subtopics, and most importantly, the first and last paragraph to get the idea. Okay, because the first paragraph will give you an idea and the last paragraph is just to, you know, uh, make sure that the idea that they want to let you know throughout the paragraph, uh, throughout the text, it's um, summarized in that last paragraph. Okay, so that is basically scheming for the whole text. Scheming for a, a different a particular paragraph is different a little bit. Okay, got that? Why? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, before that, one minute respond. I want you to provide a summary of today's lesson. What did you learn in today's lesson? That's more important to me than anything else. And share your summary in the comments. That's it. And if you've got question, ask question. All right, good, Ivan. I like it that you got it. All right, Benjamin, how to scheme? Good. Uh, learn the difference between scamming and scanning. Right, Kirtana, good. How to scheme attacks? Good. Uh, the meaning of scheming and scanning. All right, Satish, I hope you go beyond knowing the meaning. You know how to do it, Satish. Uh, Nurul, how to scheme? Uh, Bernice, what is scheme and scan? Who? What is the mean of scheming? Animals do ban. All right. All right, cluster uh, Nalfa, you like animals, do benefits to any, uh, people. Um, that's the content of the text we learned today. Um, scheming is the younger brother of scanning. Scheming should be the older brother. Before you can scan, you have to scheme, Li Hong. Uh, a dog is very useful. Animals is useful. All right, Benjamin, how to scheme a text. All right, that's all Li Hong says. We learn how to scheme or scan attacks, right? Yes. Now I want to I want to emphasize this. It doesn't matter what the text is. It what matters is you know how to deal with the text. Okay, the text can be any text, but knowing how to deal with the text is what the purpose of teaching language is all about. Okay. All right. All right, Bernice. Animal has a special relationship with humans. Yes, exactly. All right, any, any questions that you have that you want to ask? Okay, I'm happy. Today's lesson is very, how to say, very light and relaxing, uh, which is good for all of you. All right, I don't want to always uh, have lessons that stresses you up. Okay, That's, I, I don't have a pet. I'm sorry, I don't have time, uh, Benjamin, to have a pet. At the moment, I have two kids that I have to take care of. So I know I don't have a pet. I have no time for a pet. I don't want to have make my pet have a miserable life. Right? Yes. Yeah, when you have a pet, it's like another family member. Always make sure that when you have a pet, you take care of a pet like another human being. It needs love and care. Okay? You can't just have a pet and then just leave it and think that you will fend for itself. Doesn't doesn't work that way. Ooh, yes. All of you are my pets. Wow, that's nice, Satish. You have three dogs. I like to ask the question: Who takes care of the dog? I also have a troublesome child. Oh, Li Hong, no Ngan, Ping Liang, and you know Li Hong makes makes life interesting online for me so um troublesome child <laughs> okay um benjamin you are a cute pet i think from your name benjamin mm. now for maybe you are the teacher's pet huh all right i wish i have one yes kirtana you sound exactly like my two children they want pets but looking at our lifestyle right now, no, it's not suitable to have pets. Okay. Oh, uh, you have a hedgehog. All right. That's nice, Benjamin. Okay. So, let's look at the last one. Your favorite? Yes. 
Okay, so our next lesson will be 1st of April on Wednesday. And uh, we'll meet here again. So take care and hope that um, you all be fine. So I see you again Wednesday, but Wednesday you have a tougher job to do. I will try to get uh, anyone um, to so that I can change the text. If not, you have to rely on yours. All right. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.